Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Jaywick Sands Happy Club, February the 6th. Yeah, sure. Did you know it's Bob, Bob Marley's birthday today, Dave? Yes. And he's 75. He would have been 75 if he was still alive, yeah. Yeah, so he's still 75, isn't he? Just yeah. if he's dead or alive. <laughs> Happy birthday, Bob Marley. He's still here in spirit. He's, he's always here in spirit. Welcome to the Jaywick Sands. What are you doing here, Dylan? This is for humans. Oh, you want the food? Is that what you want? The food? <laughs> Sounds like a pig. <laughs> Welcome to the J. Rick Sands Happy Club. Can you please put your comments up so I can read them to the group if you have anything to say? The first point of the meeting today was that the church is being regenerated. So I have whole Jobit Sounds Happy Club in my own house until the church is repaired. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> we are human. Right. Kevin, can you take my um, dog down, please, and get rid of him? Because we know why he's here. Thank you. Right, let me begin. Here we go. So, Gary... You live in Jaywick, don't you? I do. And you have lived here for many years. Yes, two school years. So what do you think has happened in Jaywick? Because I feel a lot of people are getting involved, but I don't see a lot happening. What do you think is really happening in Jaywick? And what can we do to improve it? Um, Improvement-wise, I don't... Uh, we could do with a supermarket down here with some better shops. We... Need a supermarket, not supermarket <coughs> sweep, but a supermarket unique. Thank you, Gary. Supermarket. What would a supermarket do to the community? You can have it, Dave. What would a supermarket do to the community, Gary? Well, it would help the elderly with their shopping and what have we, mm -hmm. just to get around because they've got to go into town and get their shopping. Yep, to help elderly. Well, I don't know if you heard earlier, Gary. You were telling. Danny, that they're actually getting a community bus for Jamie. Oh, they've been doing that for years. So they've actually got funding from the lottery, National Lottery. Oh, yeah. And they're going to be and having what, What's the council going to spend that on? It's not a council, it's nothing to do with the council. Uh, excuse me, last time we got a lottery down here, done it through Ellen, used it all on our own. I know he did. But not, uh, not him, it was through Ellen that used it all. I know, yeah, well... So, okay. One second. Six. Kevin. Yeah. This is rubbish. All right, Kevin. If anyone puts any comments up, can you um, read them out to me? Yeah. Read out what he's written on that screen, but hold it without dropping it. Right. But make sure you can see me because this is a meeting. Yeah, I'd better see you this time. So, ladies and gentlemen, the first point of the meeting tonight no, 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 is church is being regenerated. So I hold Jovic Sands Abbey Club in my front room until the church is repaired. The second point is uh, the main thing Jovic needs is toilets because... When all the yeah. tourists come here on holiday yeah, to the beach, the there is nowhere for them to go. And they're doing it in the alleyways. So we need toilets big time. Number three, we need more street lights in Jaywick Sands. We desperate, desperately need street lights in Jaywick Sands. Very important. A lot of vulnerable people are feeling very unsafe when they're walking down the streets at night. Old people, women, children, they're all feeling very vulnerable. I think you'll find that that is due to JSFA, it's nothing to do with the council until the council actually take over down here. They won't be like them because they're not obliged to do it. It's up to the JSFA to do lighting for the whole area because when it all started and the council said they'd step in and help them, they turned around and the JSFA said, keep the council out of here, we don't want them sticking those in it. Their nose is in our business, and the council said, good, you sort it out yourself. And that's the way it's been left since the 50s. 
And the jailer said, well, you've never done anything about it. And the councillor never done anything about it because neither of them, the council were told to stay out there. So until the council had taken over Jay itself, yeah. there would be no lighting done by the council at all. There will be no lighting that's, that's until the council takes control of Jay Wick. What I heard. You just heard it from the horse's mouth. So, that is why we're the Jay Wick Science Happy Club. Because you learn things from real people that really do live here for many, many years. We haven't, we're not day trippers. We're not day trippers. Okay. I've just got a thing up here about beach clean. What's it say? Steve Bear Beach Clean. It says. It's beach clean? Yeah. Okay. Steve, there is a beach clean already once every couple of weeks. Barry, who work, who helps with Dig for Jaywick, does beach cleans already. Plus, there's some other activist called Nigel that walks around picking up rubbish. So we've got a few people doing that already. Me, I don't want to steal other people's ideas. So I basically leave them to it. But if they want my help, they know where I am. But we've already got a few activists in Jaywick that are doing beach cleans and also picking up rubbish on a daily basis. So we've already got our own litter pickers of Jaywick. Thank you. So I'm going to write that in the book, Steve. I will write it in the book. Beach clean. And I've got another comment here. Tendering Council responsible. What are they responsible for? It doesn't say. It just says Tendering Council responsible. Two, three, four, five, six. And that's Steve Bear again. All right, so what the council are responsible for, for what? He just put there, tendering council responsible. All right, beach clean is regularly already. Right, two, four, six. So there we go, okay. Four, five, six, seven. So then, the next thing Mine. of the Joe Sands Happy Club, is, oh, look at this, Danny. I've just taken all his money. And Gary has just won all of the money. Gary is our poker champion of the Happy Club. Well done, Gary. I told you. Try it on. Just if you share the money out evenly, you can have it another game. And the winner gets a bit of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> you get, there you go, pizza for the winner. Right, the next point was we need um, CCTV will make the community more secure. I've had a lot of old ladies and a lot of young people saying they don't feel safe at night without CCTV. If you go to London, there is more CCTV in London than any other city in the world. Jaywick is probably 70 miles from London. If London can have all this extra security, why can't Jaywick have a bit? Babe, can you answer that? Well, if you go to London, do a mile in London, you are on camera 365 times. Why can't we have it down here? What is, what is restricting us? It's That's, got to be something to do with the council or something, hasn't it? It must be. Maybe they want us to feel as, as, as I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe, but like the police say, oh, the, now, when I first came down here, there was three alleys on every turning. And they've only got one alley in every turning. Yeah. So why can't they put cameras in one, you know, one alley? Yeah. We've had a problem with the lighting, it kept on breathing, but now the fuses kept on blowing, but now they've put switches in, so as soon as the fuse goes, they just flip the switch and it goes back on. Exactly. So, but like before, in, in the past, we've had two, maybe three weeks of darkness. Yes. For no reason. Which makes people feel very volatile and unsafe. Uh, well, of course, yes. Exactly. And then you can't walk along the top road because people go down there like they're uh, in a Cumberland's Act, you know? So if there's any... And even the buses go that fast. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So there's a lot of speeding on Jaybrick Seafront. A lot of Seafront. And people, you know, don't want to go out at night because they don't want to go through the alleys because it's too dark. And then they don't want to walk along the seafront because all these people driving up there like a, like they're on a, in a um, five-minute dash or something, you know? Yeah. A lot of students. Thank you, Dave. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We have just discovered that we are 70 miles from London and they have the most CCTV than anyone else yeah. in the world. So how about giving some to Jaywick to make people feel safer? Right, we're up to the supermarket is needed to help the elderly with shopping. 
Beach cleaning is regular. Already we love Jaywick. And the seventh thing was a lot of speeding on Jaywick seafront. So people are not going out. People are staying at home. And it just makes their anxiety even worse. Shine on. Is there any, anyone said anything, Kevin? No. Okay. Can I remind you, this is a virtual Jaywick Sands Happy Club meeting. If you don't say something, how can we virtually involve you? We need you to speak what needs to be done, and then we can virtually answer you. You are virtually inv involved in the Jaywick Sands Happy Club. Shine on. Anyone said anything yet, Kev? Nope. Oh, that's, that's pretty weird. Yeah. Okay, we'll just keep it rolling until someone does speak. <laughs> So, uh, Mandy, you lived in Jaywick for many years. Can we I'm ask you a Amanda, her name's Mandy. Mandy. Mm. She gets upset we call her Amanda. <laughs> All right, Mandy. <laughs> Mandy, 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 Mandy. Clark and Kelly. I am very handy. Uh, Mandy, you've lived in Jaywick for many years. He's very Apart handy, from the right? obvious things that we always talk about, <laughs> are, you, are you noticing anything little that can be done to improve Jaywick? Oh, well, these people little scooters. Nice lids on. Yeah, no crash up. Idiots. So you see them all quite often. See them quite often. Yeah. Down the alleyways. Yeah. And down the, on the dike. No skid lids on. Just kids. And they're gonna crash and kill themselves. That's right. So well, it's, if not you... about, it's not about that, though, Dan. You know when you've done that. Kevin, do you want to stand there and get all of us in one shot? You know when you've done that yeah. video about. You should Danny be able to get us all in one shot. Yeah. You know when you've done that video down the other end. Yep. Where they Something put, down down where they put the fence across the alleyway. Yeah. The reason they've done it because they use it as shortcuts going through there with the mopeds. Right. That's why the person done it because it's the alleyway is actually mm. private. That's why they had the right to block it off if they need to. True. Right. And like, wh why can't they do it down here? Or why can't they do mm. a sort of out? Because they'll go to flying through there. They don't even stop. I mean, not like, even a couple of knocked over with my dog the other day. Yeah. They just come flying through. You don't well, even near, see them. They've got no lights on. Yeah. The other day. All in darkness, you know. You can't see them. All you can hear is is the engine. Of the, the moat running, you know? It's incredible. Yep. <clears throat> Thank you, that's a very good point, Mandy. Thank you very much. Number nine. Okay, the situation lovely. has seemed to have improved about when we had that little stink about um, people picking up their poo and that. Yep. Okay, that seemed to have improved quite a lot. Because what I've been doing, I've been collecting my, my bread bags. Yes. And people are saying, yeah, well, and the, the dog has a poo, and they've been saying, saying um, well, I can't afford to buy poo bags, so I've given 10 bread bags, and I said, well, now you've got poo, you've got no excuse now, have you? Of course. And it's improved quite a lot. Okay, so the dog poo, the dog poo situation has improved. Yes. Brilliant, that's a bit Especially of good news. Especially with that, with that sign that someone put up saying, if you're into yoga, please bend down and pick your dog's poo up. Yep. Have you seen that? Yep. You haven't seen it? I have seen it, yeah. Yeah, Danny's seen it, but... I mean, so, like... That's right, yeah. You want your first lesson in load, where's to bend down and pick your dog's pub up. That's it. Which is good. Yeah. I've just got a message come through from Donna. Need everyone to stick together and work together. Yes, we surely do. We do need to stick together and work together. But the problem we have with that is a lot of people want to do it for themselves because they want to get attention. And they think, oh, we don't need nobody else. So there's a lot of people that think they can do what we already do because they want to do it for themselves. The point is, who are they? Who are they? And where are they? Where are they? Who are they? Who are they? Where are they? Look around. Who are they? Who cares? Where are they? We need to stick together and work together and work together. And I put please on the end of that. <laughs> <laughs> please. <laughs> so there you go. Come up close, Sean. What we've the ten things we've done. Can you see the ten things I've written down? Yep. And Donna just put jealous of the same. Uh, of course they are. But we don't really lower ourselves to their level. 
do we? <laughs> no. No. We don't lower ourselves to their level. But you've gone four. Three. Three. I've better seen. Oh, by the Three. way, if you're wondering who this wonderful man is who's taking photographs, Toby is our friend. Yes. Toby has come to Jovic for the third time now. He come once about two years ago. Two and a half. And yeah, yeah, about two and a half years yeah, ago. Kevin, yeah. you need to film us. Yep, so basically try and film us both in the same shot. If you go further back. If you're a good cameraman, we'll be able to get everybody in one shot. Gotcha. Exactly. And then there's no point, yeah. Cameraman. What's that badge about? Exactly. Cameraman. Official. <laughs> so, to Toby come with a, another great friend of ours called Allard. Al Al and we like Allard, he's a very nice man. He lives in Germany too. And basically Toby comes to Jaywick to take photos of us, to show the world that we are a great place, not what all the rumours say that we're deprived, because we're not really deprived. Mm -hmm. Toby knows we've got spirit that's going on right now, where we come together and we make things happen and we make a difference. That's what Toby likes, that's what I like. You know you're the foodies. And that's what you should like. So thank you Toby for supporting us. Thank you for having me. Thank you Toby. We love you Toby. And Toby, can you just tell them what's happening with the with the photos in the in the in the museum? What dates and all stuff? Yeah, I would have an exhibition in uh, October in Berlin in the Academy of Fine Arts, and there we will have the the Jaywick photos. And I just came to to have an update on on that stuff I made uh, two years ago, and um, that's why I'm here. Well, thank you, Toby. Doing us a great okay. job. <laughs> and Toby's gonna send me all the pictures on WhatsApp or something, and I can share them with everybody. Yeah. There you go. Anyone said anything else, Kevin? No. Lovely. <laughs> right, so, right, um, I've asked you, I've asked you, I've asked me. Uh, don't, Gary? What about Dave? Dave, you got anything you think Jamie needs to be improved? Well, what is your main concern? <laughs> <laughs> you might have to come closer. Where shall we start? <laughs> Where do you want to start? Um, just anywhere. How long is the piece of string? Start from the beginning. I've just got a message come through. It was a very cold day last time Toby came. Yes, it was. Yes, yes. It, it was yes, a very was, cold yes. day. It was in December. Yeah, it was in December. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There, was, there was snow on the ground, wasn't there? Yeah, so no, I don't think there was cold. It was cold. It was cold, yeah. And well, John, John Cooper, hi to Danny and his team at Jameson's Happy Club. Thank you, John. We are doing very well. Our church is being renovated. We've been made homeless, <laughs> but we're not stopping. I refuse to stop. It stays in my house Two, until we get the four, church one. back. Because oh. we are the Jamie Stands Happy Club, and we will never be defeated. Shine on. <laughs> Thank you, John. Right, number 11. What else do we need? Um, Toby, this is Toby. Stand back to get us all in the shop. Toby, um, I asked you earlier, but not on film. Anything you think... Javik could have to improve. You said about the bus service and stuff. Yeah, I mean... More buses? I don't know how often it runs, but... Yeah. How often... I think they, they start... I think off. they stop at about 11pm. Oh, they right. start about 7am. Okay. And I think they're not 24 hour. Yeah, the last bus that goes past mine, right. back into oh, town's about 10 yeah. past, quarter past 11. Right. They were saying on the radio this morning seven. about a new scheme that's come out by the government about electric buses. Okay. Right. And now you are oh, looking one, for, uh, they've got one of the eyes on Jaywick that's been one of the instigating things for uh, the electric buses, and they reckon they will be running one every 10 minutes if this instigation gets put in, because they're trying to get the electric buses in, and they're doing a scheme Who's going with around different it? people, and they're doing a okay. pilot scheme at Chelmsford first of all, and they're putting Jaywick on one of the people that will be actually in this scheme for electric buses to run. So that is one good thing which will answer the question for Toby. And they reckon they will run from eight to ten minutes. Alright. That's uh, nice. Do that. Is that heading and doing no. that? No, I don't do that then. The camera scheme involved. Who's who's coming in on it then? Because <coughs> heading and we've got the subsidy to do Jaywick. Yes, but that's why I first yes, and yes, I'm actually, I'm on Okay, no problem. I get out at five in the morning to get here. I bet you it is, yeah. You've got enough photos of us all, you've got it all. Yeah, yeah. Um, we'll see each other tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. Yeah. I've, got, I've got to see my daughter around 3 pm. Alright. So, so, and I've got some work in the morning, so around midday I'll be perfect. Yeah, should I be here at what? Midday on the dot? 11, 12, what? 12 will be better. Yeah. If you come here at midday, and then I'll take you for a little walk. 
and I'll take you to my pal Aussies. Great. Man. And have you got Dave's numbers? Do you need to go and do some more with him already? Uh, um, we were at your house, but, uh, or maybe at your house. Oh, it's it's my house. house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, it goes with my house. <laughs> okay, so maybe I just come by and we yeah, have a chat. All right, no problem. Yeah. You're lovely. Yeah. So I'll see you here at midday tomorrow. Yeah. Toby, we always love you. <laughs> yes. This man, ladies and gentlemen, is our brother. <laughs> and when you've got brothers like Toby, you're doing all right. Shine on our brothers, our friends from Germany. We've got friends all over the world because we love people. And when you love people, people will love you. Mwah! It's true, isn't it? If you love people, they will love you. I've got a message here saying, Hi, Danny, doing a great job in Jamie. Who, who said that? Diane Hammond. Thank you, Diane. We are trying very much. <laughs> Yeah, so tomorrow we'll go, we'll go for walk, whatever the weather. Yeah. I'm going to go and introduce you to what, the calf and all the people in it and just try and get you into some different worlds. And then I can even take you to another place where I've got a few ideas. I won't say I'll film, but come with Dave. Love you, Toby. Yes. You're a diamond. Yes. And as I say to, and as I say to all the people I like, shine on. Yes. Thank you. Shine on too. And uh, have a nice evening, happy people. Thank, Thank you very much. You. See you. Toby's going, everybody. Dave! Dave's on the phone. Oh, yeah. Toby's going. Just yeah. see you on the weekend. I'm here. I'm here for the weekend. Okay? Thank you, Toby. God bless you. Shine on. Message from Richard Carlson, or whatever. Yep. Just saying, how's you? Yep. He said it. We're doing great. Right. You mean I should have Kathy? Pardon? I should have Kathy. Yeah. Hey, who's on? He might do a deal like Oh, he's going to wait, is he? Give you your old run and then he'll give you the old one, two, or something. I don't know. So, is he the play shot? Oh, well. He deserves a break, doesn't he? What? Who's that? Ozzy from the calf. We like Ozzy. No, because I went around there and I had a little play on it. Ozzy's calf. Licks the dots. He's working okay, I think. Oh. He asked me to go around and check it to make sure it's working okay. So well, Natalie, uh, Kirk, whatever, hi. Yeah, and then you just put right. shine on. Shine on. So come up closer, Kevin. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, it's very hard to do what we do at Happy Club in my front room, but we are still trying our best. And it won't be the same, and it won't be as good, but at least we're not giving up. And, I, and I'm glad, I want to say thank you to everybody in this room that is still supporting me, trying to give Jay Wick a voice. And even though there is only one, two, three, four, five, <coughs> six with Toby. Even though there's only seven people here, we are still getting 12 points into the book. Look at that. Richard Colson, what are you talking about tonight? That is, that is what we're talking about tonight. See that? Richard, we are talking about this. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, it's quite hard to do a meeting in your front room. For one, I can't stand up. For two, I've got to sit down. And we've only got these amount of people here. But the people that are here, they all live in Jaywick every day, every night. And they're not, they're not tourists. Well, well Maddie, tourists? <laughs> no, you're not. There is no tourists here. We are. We have lived here for thirty odd years. Each and one of us. If you add up all the years, Dave, what year did you move to Jaywick? Forty-nine. Nineteen forty-nine. Hi, Danny and Dave, the rave, Mandy and Dave B. Good job tonight. Thank you, Mandy. Thank you, Dave. Shine on. All right. I'll speak to you later. 
Mandy oh, and oh, bye, bye. who who's that? Can you tell Dave again? That was John Cooper. I've been here fifty two years. So Dave's been here fifty two years. This Dave here's been here since seventy how years. Fifty two. Fifty two? Yeah. So how old are you now then? Fifty eight. Oh you're fifty eight. So Dave's been here fifty two years. Dave's been here seventy years. Gary? Twenty odd years. Twenty odd years. Me? Thirty odd. Mandy? Moved down here in two thousand. So twenty um, years. Yes. So in this room we are looking at three hundred years of Jay Wick living here. Living I'm sure we, I'm sure with three hundred years of living in Jay Wick between us, we know what needs to be done in Jay Wick to improve it. Don't us to come through, we need more points about Jay Wick. This is about Jaywick. This is all about Jaywick. I'm telling you that we have lived here for over 300 years, us six people, and we know what Jaywick needs every day and every single night. This is all about Jaywick, okay? People come from Germany to support Jaywick. That is still about Jaywick. Toby is here for Jaywick. Everything that we're saying is about Jaywick, isn't it? Thank you. Right, so to Dave, you lived here many, many years, you need to come closer so Dave has not talked about. Dave, what do you think Jaywick needs for improvements? Just, just without... <laughs> <laughs> and, keep, and keep it clean. Top ten. <laughs> yeah, keep it clean. Richard Carlson may be in fact in a minibus for days out. What would have been done? Jaywick has got a community minibus on the run, right on the way. A Jaywick minibus is happening right now. Let's pass you over to little uh, to our t true brother Dave the Rave, who will tell you about the new minibus coming. Right, they've just got a national lottery. We've just got some funding to actually have a minibus from me out seven days a week for people who need to go to hospital, go to hosp uh, do uh, doctor's appointments, shopping, and everything else. And I've just put my name down to be a voluntary driver which will be probably be safe starting about April, May time. And it will get, and all you have to do is phone up a week in advance and book an appointment and they will take you wherever you need to go as long as there's enough people that want to go there. Okay? Thank you, Dave. That's from the Tendering Community Transport. Richard Carlson would be good for your happy club. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, what I am trying to do for Jaywick is to try and utilise Jaywick Beach. For years I've lived here and it's one of the best beaches in the world. I've been to Bryson Beach and it's full of stones. I've been to other beaches in the world full of stones. When you come to Jaywick Beach, there's not so many stones. So I think us as a community need to utilise Jaywick Beach. Don't you think, Dave? There's a problem with that because a part of the beach is actually private. What and part of the beach? I've got a message coming through from Natalie. Um, Wait till we finish talking and then tell us. From so we, but don't read it out until we finish. Up to the Mar Martello Tower. And There's then. no private beaches in the country. Well, they're owned by the Queen. All beaches are owned by the Queen. There yeah, is right, no yeah. private yeah. beaches in the country. But you can't actually do anything to them because of, they say it's a private beach. The only place I've come queen. across that was when I was in Devon right. and there was a stretch of beach where they had new bathing. Right, okay. And us as a load of lads walked on and it, we had to cross a field right, okay. to get down to it. Yeah. And the fellow said it's a private beach and I explained to him and he said, how did you get here? I said, well, we walked across. The green, he said, you trespassed. He said, that is private land up there. You can't walk across that. Yeah. So I said, oh, fair enough. So we went back and we got hired out a rowing boat and went round the road and we were spectating <laughs> from the sea. They couldn't stop me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. I know, it's, it's owned by the Queen. It's just like they don't, they say they're not maintaining the top road because it's owned by the Queen. Yeah, because I, I had a thing with the council at the last Jaywick Forum saying, what about riding the roads and putting maybe a path in? That was the idea of knocking down the sunspot. Maybe winding the road, but they said they can't touch it because they don't, it doesn't belong to them. Knocking down the sunspot, they were going to build a 
in the supermarket. That's right, yes. Which what? never happened. So brilliant, we've got 20 minutes left. What, what, uh, what, anything else we need to discuss here, guys? Is anyone, what, what did you say? Someone read out, Kevin. Yeah, I've got a message that can't see what, oh, it's Happy Club Me Bus could be just for days out, that stretcher. And then Steve Bear come through, sorry, there are three beaches in Devon. Yeah. I hope you utilise your beaches in Devon the same way that I would like to utilise the beaches in Jaywick. Is that a good answer? Yeah, I've got your thing come up saying low battery. Jeez. Low battery? Yeah. Brilliant. You come, <laughs> come sit closer. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Hello. There you go. You have to sit there now. You can use the other hand. You can swap hands. Yep. Stay sitting and get us nice and close. Can you see us all in that? Ladies and gentlemen, we have now had 15 comments about Jaywick tonight. Everything here is about Jaywick. Even though other things are mentioned, this is only about Jaywick. <coughs> Take a look. Can you see all them points? Yeah. Show them the Happy Club book. So ladies and gentlemen, you need to bear with me. Until we get the church back, how can we do Jaywick Sands Happy Club like we used to? I am trying to find an alternative venue, but what they are charging to use these venues is not worth it. I'd rather use my house, keep the money for Jaywick, and we can all shine on. You need to remember that we're not the richest community in the world, so we can't afford to pay halls 50 pound an hour just to do a community meeting. It's no, it's no good, is it, Dave? I mean, how can we be charged fifty pound an hour to hire a, a hall in our community when it is for our community? Well, we'd have to send you out on the streets and make some money. Yeah. <laughs> but don't let them play my guitar. No way, because if you hear my guitar playing, you might not let me in. Anyway, what else have we got here about Jaywick? Anything else? Anyone said anything? No. Oh, well, Caroline, lit. Whatever. Any news about when the rat? Will be stepped out. The what? The rats. The rats. The rats. Yeah. Well, well, she's talking, rats. About, she's talking about when Fingy was here, wasn't it? Yeah, when we had With Joanne. Joanne, and, Joanne and that, but they've moved anyway. Oh, so right. that problem has been solved. And the uh, yeah. landlord of that property has had the uh, pest control from the council to come in. And put yeah. traps and everything else yeah. so that should actually be eradicated by now. Yeah, thank you, man. They've been gone for six weeks. Chicken nuggets, Dave. Hey. Chicken nugget, Kev. I'm full, mate. Dave. Mm. That one guy in the kitchen as well, that bowl? Uh, yeah, we've got one more to eat. Yeah. Alright, alright, alright. Here you go, for your back. <laughs> See the years pop up. <laughs> yeah. Jerry has a bus route for the hospital at Stretcher, doesn't it? Yeah. It does, yeah. Natalie, you could ask the church to use a room at UTS for their community. UTS? Where's that? Know. Thank you. I basically spoke to the Methodist Church, and, that, and they're not available the days I need it. And we spoke to some other places, and they're too expensive. So I've come up with, rather than stopping Happy Club, rather than it stops, I'm going to keep it going every month in my house with the regulars that have been here for over four years until we get the church back. So I'm involving all of you by filming it live. And that means Abbey Club is still a community group for all of the community, because they can watch it on film. So that means I am doing what I originally set out to do by keeping Jabit Sands Abbey Club for all of the community. How can anyone disagree with that? Anyone, how can they? I am trying my best. So why don't someone who watches this film 
why don't you get me a venue that we can use for three hours a month on the first Thursday? And that would be a good deed that you are doing for Jaywick. Thank yep. you very much. Dane Hammond. Hammond. He is, he loves them. Yep. I've got Dane Hammond. Danny, yep. why do you love so much? Why do I love what? That's all you put me. <coughs> because we're in a happy, loving place. <coughs> you need to spock it when people are talking. The reason I love Jobit so much is because the people that are in this room are probably the best people you'll ever meet in your life. And even though they've all got different walks of life, we've got people in here that have robbed trains. We've got people in here that have bloody flew aeroplanes. We've got people in here that have driven buses. We've got people in here that have lived in London all their life. Born in London. We've got people in here that have been to prison. We've got people in here that are very good people. And when you put all them people together, then you know how to work together in a community to make it a better community. You need to have every walk of life to know how to make it work. It can't just be how you want it to work or how I want it to work. That will never work. You need to work together, all of us. And we might not agree with each other, but we need to know how to work together. And that would be the first step to make Jaywick forever. And that is all I'm on about. So please, give us some more love. And please, Natalie, love yourself. Natalie Cook, whatever. Sam Martell will give you a room. A, B, D, you can promote their hotel. Just oh, right, yeah. an idea. Okay, oh, well, if about. anyone watching this video wants to give us a room for three hours a month for a community group, that does it for love, then let me know because we are looking for a venue. But I would like to keep it in Jaywick. So there is no hotels in Jaywick. So my dream is to keep the happy club in Jaywick. Except for number 37 Coolside. Oh. Mm. <laughs> That's the only hotel. <laughs> yeah, it's a hotel for my friends. But if I, yeah, we won't say no more. <laughs> Richard, Richard Carlton, does the happy club have money to help it? Keep going. No. But I have some money. And I will use my own money to keep it going. Because I started it myself. And I will continue it myself. But we've had some help over the last few years. We've had the council paid for us for one year. They gave us £500 to help run the Happy Club. And then we had some money from the lottery. About £500. And then £700 from the lottery. So I want to say a big thank you to the people that have helped us fund the Happy Club. But as I said, I started funding the Happy Club and I will continue to fund it. If there is no money, I might even ask you to help. But the money I ask for will only go into running the Happy Club to give people a voice. I mean, surely we all deserve a voice, don't we? And the things we've achieved at the Happy Club over the last four years is overwhelming. We can make a film about the Jobit Sands Happy Club. We can even make a film about how we're in my front room now. It doesn't mean we're over. It means we're carrying on. So maybe you, 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 yeah, maybe you. Yeah, you, I'm looking at you. Stop hiding. It's you I'm looking at. Yeah, see you. Maybe you should believe in Jaywick a bit more. Like we do. Maybe a charity... Or organisation, and that was Richard Colton. No, no, we're not a charity. This is we we are a beautiful. Jaywick Sands Happy Club is not a charity. It is a group that I created to give Jaywick a voice, and I and people have seen how well it's done, and people have helped me continue it. But if they won't help me, I will do it myself. Either way, the Jaywick Sands Happy Club is for always and forever. Okay. Natalie Cook, I'm not going to pronounce that word. I'm doing the same in doing, uh, Kirby. Well done. Shine on. Right, guys. Anything else we need to discuss? Because I, I haven't heard much. No one's selling me much virtually. And anything you want to Caroline add? Caroline Lindsay, have a pop up happy club on the beach in the better weather. I will do. If I haven't got the church. And it's hot enough. Happy Club will be on the beach. You are right. And it will happen. It won't be a pop-up. It'll be a barbecue, though, won't it? It'll be a barbecue, yeah. Of course. 
Right. Uh, do, do you think that's about enough for Abby Dub, do you think? Yeah. Yeah, anything anyone want to add? Is there anything anyone there wants to add? Because I ain't going to wrap the, the meeting up in the next five minutes, so... I've got a message just come through from Richard Colson. Yep. A charity or organisation to help the Happy Club, I meant. Thank you, Richard. Richard, that would be very nice if we could. But we are doing okay. And the biggest concern we've got is getting our church back so we can have our meetings in the church where we started. That is our biggest concern. But until then, we will, we will continue to shine on. We are the Javit Sands Happy Club. Together we stand, divided we fall. I want to say a very, very, very big thank you to all the people that help me help others. You know who you are. I don't need to mention names. You know, we're not needy and we're not greedy. We just, we don't need to mention everybody's name because there's like... There's hundreds of people. But I want to say a very big thank you to everybody that helps me do what I do here in Jaywick. But there is a few people I would like to formally mention because they do really help me behind the scenes. I want to say a big thank you to Jill Elkins. Jill Elkins is our treasurer. She takes care of the money that we get and makes sure it's not spent on anything other than the meetings and the Jaywick. But Jill has resigned because of personal reasons. So I want to say thank you, Jill, for supporting me for all these years. And thank you for giving me hope and giving Jaywick hope. Sharon Taylor. A, a, a really big thank you to Jill Elkins, please. Don't speak to finish. And I also want to say a really big thank you to my vice chairman, Dan Casey. Dan Casey, for years, has been hel helping me help Jaywick. So thank you, Dan Casey, very much. He is our vice chairman, and he's a great man. We love you, Dan Casey. I also want to say a big thank you to Donna Mims. Donna Mims does all my typing and my secretary work. So thank you very much, Donna, for all your help. We are very grateful to Dan Casey, Donna Mims, and to Jill Elkins. Them three people help me do what I do daily. But I also want to say a very big thank you to all the people in this room. I want to say a massive thank you to Gary for walking all the way down from Brooklands. Even though he walks sideways, he still gets it. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to say a very big thank you to Gary for coming to all, all the meetings through winter, through summer, through rain, through snow, through slipping, through whatever, Gary still comes. I want to say a massive thank you to Gary. I want to say a massive... You're going to have to stand up now to film people. I want to say a massive thank you to Dave, because Dave walks all the way from where he lives to here, and Dave is 72 years old, and he still supports the Happy Club. I want to say a massive thank you to Dave. We love Dave Barkley. I want to say a massive thank you to this guy here. This guy here. Some people say things about him, but I don't believe none of it, and I think Kevin is a great man. So I want to say on film a big thank you to my cameraman, to Kevin. Sure, no. Thank you, Kevin. I wrap my jacket, so I show it back. Can I see your badge? Three. Thank you. So I'd like to say a big thank you to Kevin, because I believe in Kevin. And if you've got anything to say about Kevin, I think you're wrong, because I've known Kevin for many Three. years, and Kevin's a very good man. Kevin, you haven't finished yet. Thank you, Kevin. Now, I'd like to say a big thank you to Mandy, because Mandy, now, is, your Mandy is the only woman in this room. But Mandy don't give a... Mandy... <laughs> Mandy lives with Dave the Rave, so Mandy is hardcore. <laughs> Mandy is a hardcore woman. But I want to say a big thank you to Mandy, because Mandy comes here amongst all these men, and she, and she helps us. Mandy, would you say, like, being around us, it's a, it's, in, it's a problem or intimidating or anything? No. It's fine? It's lovely, yes. Thank you. So, there you go. Mandy's amazing, and thank you, Mandy, for all you do for us. That's okay. You're yeah. wonderful. Natalie, uh, thank you. And then, 
I would like to say a massive thank you to Dave the Rave because Dave the Rave has been to Call Tibet Dave, and to Morocco and to Thailand and to the moon and to Jupiter and to Saturn all in the last week. And he yeah. still makes it to the Jay Sands Happy Club <laughs> every meeting. So I want to say a massive thank you to Dave the Rave as well. Thank you, Dave, for all your support. We love you. He is a beautiful man. Thank you for, thank you for allowing me to come. Thank you for coming. Without you, it wouldn't be a club. You've got to remember, ladies and gentlemen, it's not, it's not about me. It was just my idea. I needed people like you're seeing here to make this dream a reality. We would not be here without each other. So there's two sentences that Pink Floyd said, but I'm not copying it from them. But together we stand, and Divided Dave the Rave. So together we stand. Divided we fall. Sorry. Thank you, everybody, for supporting the Jaywick Sands Happy Club. And I hope to get the church back soon. If there's anyone out there that can find me a venue in Jaywick to do the next meeting, it's next Thursday, the Thursday in March, the first Thursday in March. If someone can find me a premises where I can do the meeting, I'd be so grateful. Because the Jaywick Sands Happy Club is never going to end and we will never give up. Um, Kevin, read out the comments now, please. Natalie, come, whatever. Women Power, Mini the Raver. Join on Dave the Rave. Yay, it's Dave the Rave! <laughs> and um, uh, Natalie also said, join on uh, Dave. Look good. Yay, <laughs> Dave, shine on! And what about Gary? A bit of love for Gary? Not yet. We'll just make it up then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. We love you. Ladies and gentlemen, everyone in this room is a beautiful, lovely person. And don't forget Dylan. Dylan, who's that? Who's that? Look there. Look, look, who's that? Dylan. Who's that? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, so you're going to go all in you two? Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do the fine. Um, no, we're going to carry on. So, has anyone said anything, Kevin? Donna to come through. Sharon Taylor, we have already got one. Whatever it is. Lovely. Thank you, Donna. Donna is our secretary, and Donna works. John Cooper, big up Gary. Yay, Gary! <laughs> Big up, Gary! Yay! Richard Carlson, Sean and Gary. Yay, Gary! Sean <laughs> on! You're getting all the love now, aren't you? Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, you can see that we are genuine people. And even though we can't do our meetings in the church, we are doing them here. So, please help us get another venue until the church is finished. We will go back to St. Christopher's Church as soon as the work is finished. We are not leaving there. That is our home. That is where we started. That is where we're going to carry on. But we just need somewhere for the next two to four months. So if anyone can help us with a venue, please let me know. So the time now is more or less eight o'clock. A big... I've, sorry. I've got a message here from Caroline Lindsay, Gary, for Prime Minister. Hey! Hey! No, no chance. chance. No chance. What, Jamie? Caroline... I would, I would back, I'd back you. Yeah, definitely. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are the Jamie Sands Happy Club, and a massive thank you to each and every one of you. Kevin, if you could show them all the things we did today, from top to bottom. You don't mind if I smoke, you, Danny? I don't know. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are the Jamie Sands Happy Club, and from me, Dave, Mandy, Gary, Dave, and Kevin, shine on. <laughs>